It's Lauren Lachman. I'm here at Tanglewood uh, again with my good friend Don. Don, how are you today? I'm. I'm. Uh, my body is bouncing back. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. We don't usually bounce bodies here, but that's all right. <laughs> if that's what works for you. So, Don, the last time we saw you, it was uh, toward the end of your first week of fasting. A fast that, that uh, started out, um, was planned to be 21 days. Yes. Wound up being 16 days. Yes. Yeah. Um, what happened? Why, why, uh, why was it only 16 days? Well, I, uh, when I came here, uh, I was very lean, and uh, I thought that perhaps I, I might not be able to make it through the entire 21 days, but uh, I thought, well, it's worth it because I... Uh, just kept losing weight no matter what I would do. It just kept going down and down. In, in fact, that had been going on for several years. Uh, yes, it had. And um, uh, it turned out that I did need to break the fast because uh, my body was uh, eating away at the vitals and I was beginning to starve. That's right. There, there was evidence that you were actually no longer fasting but beginning to starve. And um, to... In, in case anyone didn't see the first installment, um, you're six feet tall. Six feet tall, yes. You're 29 years old? Uh, a little, little older than that. I'm 78. 78, okay, that's it, that's it. 78 years old. Um, you started out at 101 pounds. Correct. Six, six feet tall. Yes. So not only were you very lean, you were probably the leanest man I've ever fasted. Um, I don't think we've ever had anyone that light at that height. Um, and so you made you it... think the Guinness Book of Records uh, like to check it out? Probably not. Okay. Um, but <laughs> so you went 16 days. Now, again, for years, you, you, you actually had been quite heavy at one point. Yes, yes. Your weight had come down from over 200 pounds. Uh, but, and that was good, but it never stopped declining, right? So, in fact... Just a month before you arrived, you were about 110, and then you showed up here at 101, and this had been going on for several years, and now, today, well, the last, yesterday we weighed you, what was your weight? It was, uh, I think it was uh, about, about 102. About 102. Yeah. So, um, you dropped 14 plus pounds while fasting, which is normal. But for the first time in more than two, three years, you've actually been gaining weight, right? Yes. Ever since you broke your fast, you've been putting weight back on. As of four or five days ago, you had more weight. I mean, it went up and then it came back down a little bit and then it went back up. But you had more weight, more muscle mass, more body fat, and better hydration than when you got here. So... You, you lost, and everyone is going to lose weight while fasting. It's mm -hmm. um, probably just a coincidence, but it does happen regularly. If you don't eat for two weeks, you lose weight. Um, <laughs> in your case, it might have been for some people. I mean, we, we see a lot of people. I talk to a lot of people who say, no, no, I don't want to lose any more weight. You and I had our first conversation more than two years ago, right? Something like that. Something like that. And... I think in that conversation, when you told me it was going on, I told you that I suspected it was the presence of old hard material preventing you from absorbing and assimilating what you're reading, which would make gaining weight very difficult, yes. if not impossible. Um, I'm not sure if you, if you believe that or not. I certainly do. I, don't, I mean back then. Oh, back then? I had never heard that before. I think today you have a little bit of evidence for that. Quite theory. a bit of evidence. More than 200 bowel movements in the last four weeks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, um, uh, I came in with um, um, some major things that I wanted uh, uh, taken care of, and it looks like those are all easing, getting better, and the more the old hard crud comes out, I suspect um, uh, they're going to they're going to be quite fine. Uh, one of them was um, I was diagnosed uh, before I came here uh, with uh, severe 
cataracts. I, I needed to have a cataract operation, right. according to the, the doctor, uh, the ophthalmologist. And uh, uh, when I go back, uh, I'm sure I'm going to get an eye exam, and the doctor is going to go, what happened? What did you do? Yeah. The other uh, uh, thing... Um, can, can, can I stop you yes, for a second? Yes, certainly. Okay, with the cataracts, what did you experience? How did you experience the cataracts? Um, well, my night vision uh, was uh, uh, very bad. Uh, I didn't realize it until I got the exam that uh, actually uh, there were lights shining uh, uh, on the road when I was driving that uh, blocked my vision from seeing other things okay. because yeah yeah and so is and do you feel like your night vision has improved yes I, I do okay good yeah perfect yeah. okay yeah yeah also um, I'm able now to uh, read things at a distance that I couldn't read before right. they, they were all a blur and and um, there's still a blur there, but it's much, much less. Okay. Yeah. F fantastic. Yeah. All right. And, and what else was, was going on with um, you? Well, when I got here, uh, I didn't realize this until I got here. And when you were giving uh, your lectures uh, to us, I realized I couldn't hear half of what you were saying. I realized that I was hard of hearing. And... Um, uh, I, I still have uh, some of that, but uh, it, it's it's better than it was. I, I'm able uh, to to hear things that I I couldn't hear before. Yeah, and I'm sure that uh, will continue as well. Uh, also, um, another issue, and um, I I this one. Uh, uh, I I think uh, it's still there, maybe maybe dissipating a little. These uh, improvements happen so subtly so, sometimes mm. that you you don't realize it and say, oh yeah, this uh, like I can figure this out now. Yeah, um, used to be and it still is. I have uh, difficulty calculating uh, something in my head, simple math, uh, that, that used to be uh, very, very easy. Yeah. And um, also, um, just uh, uh, like clumsy, bumping into things, and uh, um, like uh, uh, taking this and putting it here, and then um, looking down and, well, how did it move? You know, just forgetting that that I had moved it, even though it happened uh, a little while sooner. I don't know. Perhaps this is getting. It's again very seldom. Maybe there's getting some improvement there, but that's the one area where um, maybe because of the location of the brain in the back of the head, it'll take a while for that to uh, the body. You know, de is dealing with some other things that. Maybe it considers more important it's, now. It's possible. It's possible. Okay. I mean, you have you have told me in the past that you've you're experiencing more mental clarity than before. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, uh, it seems like uh, three or four weeks ago uh, it seemed to be maybe it bounced back a little, and it's um, yeah. I I had forgotten about that. <laughs> Anything else that's shifted for you that you're aware of? I mean, first, let's let's talk about strength. What's happening with strength? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, well, I, uh, my walking had been uh, uh, a bit off, and uh, uh, I'm... You, were, I, you weren't very sure-footed. Right. And I, I now have, uh, uh, I now have uh, more strength. And, uh, on a daily basis, uh, the strength, the dexterity... Uh, um, uh, the balance are getting better and better, and uh, again, this is also a gradual thing, but it's definitely happening. Yeah, yeah, no question. Seems to be. You had mentioned. I'm I'm noticing here. You have um, some common uh, 
dark spots on your arms. It often happens to people over a certain age. Yes. Those have improved quite a bit. No, they, they were, have. They were much more pronounced when you got here. Yes, they were. Let, let's come back for just a second to the elimination. Yes. Again, you, you've been over the last four weeks, and I've lost the exact count, but you're somewhere over 200 bowel movements. Now, the last week or so, it's actually increased. You had one day where there's only four, but most days have been between 9 and 13 bowel movements per day in just the last week. So you've had close to 100 bowel movements in the last seven days or so. Um, I'm, you're eating four times a day. Yes. You're eating fruit and simple salads. Yes. Nothing else. No. Um, I, I, you're eating probably around 12 to 1,300 calories a day, something like that. Not a tremendous amount of food. And yet you're gaining weight for the first time. Mm -hmm. And you're gaining weight while having eliminated 10 to 12 times a day. Mm -hmm. Now, th these bowel movements, on average, are they, are they normal size, smaller than average, larger than average? I would say it runs the whole gamut. Right. Um, so would you say the average is? Yes. The average is around a normal size? Is that, is that typical? I would say so. Okay, because yeah. e each bowel movement, on average, is a half a pound. Mm -hmm. So if you're having, let's say, an average of 8 to 10 bowel movements a day, that's 4 or 5 pounds a day mm -hmm. that you're eliminating. Mm -hmm. And you're still gaining weight. Now, there have been, there've been some days when you've had a lot of them where you've actually lost a little bit of weight. But most days, you've gained weight, gained muscle mass every day. That's pretty extraordinary. Oh, I'm I'm totally amazed. Yeah. Okay. So, was there anything else you wanted to share? You you had started to talk about how magnificent this place is. I can't agree with you more. Uh, it's it's incredible. Well, what I was getting to is that uh, um, it it's really very very beneficial to come to a place that is so beautiful, magnificent, uh, both the uh, the grounds. Uh, and, and the buildings, and um, um, in addition to that, come to a place where people are uh, all doing the same thing, uh, whereas if I were trying to do this at home, there would be much more difficulty with uh, the usual uh, interferences in, in sure. my life. All the distractions of normal yes. life. Yes, and um, uh, here... Uh, you're, you're here, there's one job, and there's nothing else to do. Uh, you know, rest and fast and, uh, and um, let, the, let the, I'm not used to being served, but let Lauren and his, his wonderful, wonderful staff uh, take care of me. Uh, it, it's just heaven on earth, heaven on earth, yeah. Lauren. Well, I'm really glad you're experiencing it that way. I, I think most of our clients do. Of course, some people show up with resistance, but... I want to say uh, some people understand it don't experience any uh, discomfort during a fast, but um, probably a lot of us do. Uh, certainly I did. And um, um, it really helps when you're suffering like that to... Um, to be in a, a supportive place and uh, uh, to realize that you and these other people from all over the world, very, very nice people, are going through the same thing and, and uh, they're all supportive and, um, um, you know, just uh, to remind each other, well, just hold on there for this, uh, for this short time and, um, and then uh, the rest of your life you'll be a new person. And that is the miracle that's happening to me. Indeed, indeed. It's been wonderful to, to witness it, to be able to participate and support you in it. Um, you've done an amazing job so far. And um, this may be the last installment for now that we'll record with you, but um, because you're getting close to the end of your process here, but I think we've seen a lot of progress and it's been wonderful to have you with us. I'll drink to that. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.